me when you're ready. You're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Go. So I have a question up on the board under my name. Does anybody know the answer? How many names has Missouri State had before Missouri State? Yes. One. Before Missouri State. Right? Four. Incorrect. Four. Yes. Two or three. Two or three. three. <laughs> Sorry. No. Four. That's an awful sound, too. Not four. Did I hear something over here? Yeah, four. 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 Very good. Correct. You all get prizes for that. <laughs> now, the next question is, well, I have to write it down. Do you know the names of them? Right. Do you want to start from the first one or start with the one before Missouri State? First. First. First, first one. one. Does anybody know what the first one was? Yes. Okay. You probably don't know it, but you might have seen it around campus. It was called the State Normal School Number Four. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sounds so familiar, right? You should know that. If it has Missouri in it, not. You said the State Number. Normal State School Number Four. Normal. Normal. What does normal stand? Why would you have a normal school? Yeah. It's a teacher's college. Right, correct. A teacher's college. There are four in Missouri. That's why we're number four. Four. We're the fourth one. Do you know what the other ones are? Say other other state normal schools. If we're south. West Missouri, what are the other ones? North. Southeast, North. Northeast, the Northwest. Those were all state normal schools also. They were not as closely connected to being a teacher's college, but basically a normal school is um, teaching, it, normal is actually normal, which is French, which is teaching people in the, um, the principles of teaching of education. So we actually started as a teacher's college to teach people uh, how to teach, <laughs> right? To prepare teachers. Then we changed our name after that. So what's the next one? Does anybody know? Missouri Southern. What's that? Missouri Southern. Not Missouri Southern, but close. Southwest. We had South in there. Because there's two. Uh, actually, Missouri Southern has nothing to do with any of this. They're kind of their own thing <laughs> out there. No, we were Southwest Missouri State Teachers College. Southwest Missouri State Teachers College. So they put Southwest in. And then those other schools got their names too. Northwest, Northeast, Southeast Missouri. It was Teachers College? Southwest Missouri State Teachers College. And then we dropped the teachers out of it. And it was then Southwest Missouri State College, SMS. You heard a lot of people around town, or if you have people, older people, or folks that you know that know Missouri State as, oh, you go to SMS, right? That's where that comes from, Southwest Missouri State College. Okay. Then we dropped the college and went to university. Southwest Missouri State University. Now, why does that all matter? Does anybody know? More accredited. More accredited? That's a good way of thinking about it. Yep. So as we change our name, we go from a teacher's college to a college to a university, and then we drop the Southwest and we become just Missouri State. Did anybody know it as Southwest Missouri State University first? Yeah? Are you from this area? Uh, no, my dad's taught here though since I was eight. Oh, so okay. Yeah. yeah. You were close with your first guess of it was yeah. probably two to three names. Yeah. Every time we changed our name, there was a slight change in the offerings, whether it was an accredited uh, education program or an accredited business school. So when, when schools change their name, it has to do with some sort of accreditation or the number of programs they offer. Is anybody here from Springfield or the area? What was Drury University before it was that? Did you know Drury College? 
So when you move from being named a college to a university, it has to do with the number of undergraduate programs, that, or sorry, graduate programs that you offer. So the more graduate programs you offer, you can move from a college to a university. So there's a lot of prestige associated with going to a university because that indicates the number of programs they have not only at the, at the undergraduate level, but at the graduate level. Now, it was a pretty big deal when we changed our name from Southwest Missouri State to Missouri State. We had to fight some people for it. We fought for 20 years to get this name changed. I know faculty members, when I came here, that had buttons that they had put on, that they had put together from back in the late 80s when we were trying to get the name change. Uh, there was somebody up north some other school up north who shall remain unnamed that didn't want a Missouri State University. What would that be? When you're southwest, what's called a bi-directional school, right? You've got two directions in your name. That suggests it's a regional university. It only attracts people from that region. So when we expand programs and we start having, oh, I don't know, international students from 80 countries around the world coming here, get a bigger base of students, so, uh, more diversity in the students, and a lot more programs, that suggests something. But you might be surprised to know that when you're a bi-directional school, it's hard to get research grants. And faculty need research grants to do their research. So being called a state university and the only name state university actually get help with grants and with government contracts. So it was a big deal for a lot of reasons. It wasn't just the name, we got to have the name, because we've been trying to get it for 20 years. It was really about prestige, it was about credibility, and the ability to attract good faculty, more students, and have better programs to offer you. So that's really why the name change was important to us. Uh, and significant for you to know, too that you've come from a long line of really great teachers. This was the college that prepared the teachers. When I came here in 1990, uh, mm, sorry. <laughs> um, almost half of the faculty had gotten their undergraduate degrees here and then came back after they got their masters and PhDs to teach here. So there's a real strong connection because they felt like they got such a great education here that they wanted to come back here and teach. So there's a lot of great history in this university, um, and it comes from educating teachers and um, doing such a good job at it. That also means that we send all the teachers out to the state of Missouri to become your elementary and grade school and high school teachers. So some really, really neat connections there. I think it's really important to know the history of your university. Um, it develops pride, it develops awareness and knowledge of where you're going beyond just the classes that you sit in and the faculty that you have who are really, really important, but to know the history of the university and um, some people that had a significant role in it. So um, I have taught this class in the past and I did something a few years ago and it happened to be Halloween on this very day of when I would teach this class, so when, sorry, when I would teach this section on the history of the university. It happened to be Halloween, so I decided to dress up as a former faculty member. And I came in and I played the role of her. I'm not dressed up today to be for Halloween, but I'm gonna play the role for you today. And I want it to become a guessing game for you. Figure out who this is, okay? Um, I'll ask you along the way if you know who it is, but on top of listening who it is, I want you to listen to her story and what her contributions are to the university. Because there's actually a connection from where you are at right now to this person. All right? So, I need to do like, okay, get in my character. <laughs> Begin scene. Right. So, I want you to think about who am I. In my day, I was pretty unusual. I wanted to go to college. Most women did not go to college in my day. So I went to college in Springfield, Missouri at Drury College. I wanted to know about 
English, English literature, and I wanted to be a college teacher.